Oh my god guys, hi, hello. For today's tutorial, we're going to be doing some crafts here. We're going to be taking this really cool old sketchy tank t-shirt that I got at Zoomies that I literally don't wear at all anymore and we're going to transform it into something new. So I think I mentioned to you guys in my first video that a passion of mine is taking clothes and upcycling them or just transforming them into new pieces. And for this item, what I want to do here is I want to kind of make like a cool crop top with like fringe coming off the sides. Um, sounds kind of insane, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do here. So we're going to start by cutting it and we're actually going to cut the Savage Sketchy Tank like logo part off of the shirt. And we're going to actually reattach that somewhere else. I think it would actually be really cool if we put it on the front since the front of the shirt is obviously just very plain and kind of boring. I think it'd be fun to like spice it up a little. So now essentially step one is going to be taking some fabric scissors and just cutting this into a crop top. And what I'm doing here is just cutting it right where the logo is, like right in between the logo and the image on the back of the shirt. So now what you have here is essentially an oversized t-shirt, like a big men's t-shirt. I think this is like a size large that's basically cut in half or is about two thirds on top, third on the bottom. That's kind of how I like to do my crop tops. Um, but we're going to take the smaller portion here and we're going to carefully cut out the logo that is on this like smaller bottom portion of the t-shirt. And I'm just cutting out the savage part because I don't really care about the rest of the writing in the shirt. I think... Like, the Savage logo is the coolest piece of this shirt, essentially, and I want to make that, like, a focal point. And honestly, this is something that you can easily do with any shirt, is cut the logo off if there's a logo on the back, and easily attach it to the front. Um, or you can just take a random logo from literally anything, like another article of clothing, and sew it on something else. I think that's kind of fun. What I'm doing here is I'm basically just cutting out in between the letters just to kind of give it more of a shape, like an accurate shape to the lettering. So it's going to look just a little bit more jagged. So now what I'm going to do is essentially take that logo that I cut out from the back of the shirt and I'm going to pin it onto the front of the shirt where I want it. And this is just going to help so that while we're sewing it kind of stays in place so we don't end up with like a crooked logo or anything like that. And for those of you wondering why I'm chopping up this perfectly good shirt, well, honestly, I don't wear it. And I didn't really feel like selling it because I've always liked it. Just for some reason, the way it fit on me was just never good. Like I said, it is a men's t-shirt. I think it's like a men's large. I don't know. I went through this phase where I just bought a lot of men's t-shirts, but this one I just didn't wear a lot. So I wanted to change it up a bit. So after you have your logo pinned on, then, well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of that bottom part of the t-shirt and I'm going to start cutting strips. Essentially, this is going to become the fringe part for a shirt. So I'm really just going to chop this up so it's the same material so that when I make the fringe, it all kind of like looks the same. Now, this part was super fun for me. Um, my cats were going nuts over these pieces of fringe that I was making, so really kind of made the process a bit more difficult, but I had a good time with it. I'm not sure exactly how many pieces of fringe I got out of this. I think maybe there were like 14 or 15. Really, it doesn't matter. You can kind of do whatever, but essentially, I'm going to show you guys what to do with these strips to turn them into like string, and I'm also going to attach some long pieces of chain, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. So now for the fun part, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our shirt and put it on the sewing machine and we're going to sew this logo on. Now I do want to say if you guys don't know how to use a sewing machine or you don't have a sewing machine, this is something that can very, very easily be done by hand. Super, super easily. Um, honestly, this took me maybe about 10-15 minutes to do on a sewing machine. Might take a little bit longer if you hand sew it, but it wouldn't be too bad. What I'm doing here is I keep having to lift up the foot and place it back down and keep sewing because my edges of this logo I cut like super jagged so I keep having to adjust it like every five seconds. So now we have it, our logo sewed on. I am so happy with how this turned out. I really like how the edges kind of curl up a little bit and give it a bit of a 3D effect. I think that was really cool. And for the fringe here, basically what I did was I took those strips of t-shirt 
and I stretched them out like with my hands so they kind of curled into like a cording material. Basically because it was a raw edge knit, it really wrapped in and curled on itself very easily as soon as I just stretched it out the tiniest bit. So it turned into this really cool like rope. And then I took that jewelry chain and I cut off some pieces and I would attach one piece of the chain and two pieces of like the t-shirt rope material. So it would be like a ratio of two to one for each safety pin. And I chose to use safety pins just so I can detach it if I ever want to. I feel like that gave me the perfect amount of fringe that I wanted. I didn't want too much. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more understated but um, still kind of flashy. I feel like the chains really gave it that extra pop and they just kind of catch the light and it's really cool honestly. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So here I'm going to show you guys a little bit more closely kind of what I did and how I tied on the fringe. So for the t-shirt cording I just knotted it and then for the chain I would just basically take the pokey part of the safety pin and just put it through one of the little holes of the chain. Overall, I would say this is a very easy way to transform an old oversized t-shirt. I mean, if you just have one from your boyfriend or if you just like to buy big t-shirts like I do, this is a really fun way to kind of make it more feminine and interesting and just more fun. Okay guys, it's freezing cold in my house right now, um, so I have a tank top on under it, but this is the finished result. I am so excited with how this turned out. Looks totally punk, totally fun. I'm such a fan. It turned out so cool. I love it. This is totally an easy way to just take a shirt and make it into like a cool going out top. And I think that's definitely what I'm gonna wear this for when we finally get to go out again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.